let me just say this like I've taken courses at university where they've introduced GANs and every time I'm like wow I'm actually happy I took this one because it gave me a much better like like understanding and fundamentals when it comes to GANs instead of just something that is like thrown in there without given sort of a, a deeper understanding of the of the topic Hey, what's up? I'm back with another video and um, yeah, hopefully you can notice I improved the lighting a little bit so it might look a little bit better now, hopefully. Taking this shit serious now, yeah? And uh, yeah, so I was thinking of doing another pretty chill video but I didn't see, like I looked on YouTube and stuff and I didn't see that many people have done um, like reviews of courses and you know, I thought the GAN specialization, uh, I did that a while ago. And so I thought I could make share my thoughts on it and could be beneficial for people that want to maybe contemplating taking the course if it's worth doing. And so maybe I should just share my own experience first. Um, so like when I took this course, I had taken, I had a pretty solid foundation in deep learning and I'd taken deep learning specialization and all of that. But, um, and I had a basic understanding of GANs, but this really like taking this course started um, was when I really started to learn about it in, in more depth. Um, so for me, this course was really good because it, it, it gave me a solid foundation in, in generative adversarial networks. And then I could build on that and do uh, my own implementations. Maybe you've seen my videos on it, um, you know, where I implement these things in PyTorch. Um, so yeah, I, for me, the course was, re was really beneficial. Now there are sort of pros and cons and I'll try to go into in more depth sort of when it could be beneficial for you or yeah, just pros and cons of the course in general. Um, but yeah, if you look at like the rating 4.7, I think that's decently good. Um, I don't know, like the... Like if it's like really, really good, like the deep learning specialization has like 4.9. So I guess like 4.7 is like below that, obviously. Um, but the thing is, it's kind of difficult to just look at the rating because for me, so I've done the TensorFlow specialization as well, and it's also got 4.7. But for me, uh, like I would not give this 4.7. I didn't, I didn't like this one, um, but that's a separate video. Maybe I can talk and shit on that specialization a little bit in another video I don't know uh, but but this one uh, I did like but anyways let's just look, look at what they say here so um, what you will learn understand GAN components build basic GANs using uh, using PyTorch and advanced DC GANs using COM layers control your GAN and build a conditional GAN and yeah so this is you know you'll definitely do this you'll understand GANs and the, the components of how they work the, what, is, what is the generator discriminator um, and you'll build your own. The problem is like when they say build your own, they have like pre-written notebooks of code that, yeah, you'll you'll do some of the code, but for me, it didn't feel satisfactory. So I had to sort of, that's why I made videos on it because I was like, okay, I don't feel like I did this because they like give you like 90% of the code and they're like, here, can you write this sentence here? And so that's definitely a con. Um, but if you sort of understand it, you will have to do some own work, then it's, it's, it's decent. Uh, and then they say compare generative mod models, use FID method to assess GAN fidelity, learn to de detect bias in GAN and implement style GAN techni techniques. Yeah, so this is interesting as well. Like how d can you use some sort of metric to know how good a GAN is? I mean, this is a huge problem in GANs. Like how do you decide if a generated image is good or not? Let's say you have like a like a human face and it's a generated one, how do you determine the quality? And this is like an open, uh, like a, this is not a solved problem. This is like a really big problem in, in GANs, but you can use some techniques like FID score that sort of measures it uh, and inception score, you can use that as well, but they're not that good, but at least you'll learn about it. And then how you can use GANs for data augmentation and privacy pr preservation, serve, survey GANs application and examine and build picks to picks and cycle again. 
So this is interesting as well. I thought it was really cool to learn about this. And I, I mean, you probably don't know what this is, but these are like, like some of the most famous GAN architectures um, that sort of really made like a breakthrough in, in GANs. And they were really hyped up at the time. Um, so yeah, you'll definitely you'll learn about that. Uh, and then, I don't know, this thing, <laughs> I never take this shit serious. I don't remember exactly how long it took, but it definitely did not take three months. I, I honestly th think it took like, now this is, you know, given that I have like a decent understanding of deep learning previously, but it took me maybe like four days or something. Um, so this is not correct, I would say, but it's dependent maybe. All right, so how would you, um, yeah, so I was thinking, okay, let's do this. Maybe we can just go through the course and we can sort of look at it and I'll just, when I have thoughts about it, I'll just bring it up. Um, and you know, how you would check like uh, the ratings is that you can go to like each course and then you can go to the ratings and you can read the reviews and that that at least gives you an understanding. Um, you can do that if you want but maybe this video can be a bit more extensive and give you a better idea if you want to spend your money and time on this course. Um, so yeah, like, okay. Okay, so let me just say this, like I've taken courses at university where they've introduced GANs and every time I'm like, wow, I'm actually happy I took this one because it gave me a much better like like understanding and fundamentals when it comes to GANs instead of just something that is like thrown in there without giving sort of a a deeper understanding of the of the topic. So to me that is oftentimes how many of the courses I've taken done it and in that way I think this one is much much better. Um, so yeah. Anyways, uh, we can go back now. So. If we look at the first, this is building basic generative adversarial networks. And so the course is split into three different, it's like build basic GANs, build better GANs and apply GANs. Um, and yeah, so the learning objective is to construct your first GAN, develop intuition behind GANs. And I think like the, um, I don't remember her name actually. Uh, wait, okay, so yeah. Uh, Sharon is the instructor and I think she does a really good job explaining things um, she's very um, yeah she's a good teacher like she she explains things in a in a sort of a, a simple way but still gives you the the net like the you don't you don't feel like there's anything missing in your knowledge even though the explanations are sort of given at a very I don't know how to explain it like given in a way that's sim really simple but you still don't feel like you're missing out on something. Um, <laughs> wow, that's a bad, she's good anyways. And uh, okay. Okay, so then uh, let's see. Yeah, so you learn about discriminator, generator, uh, loss function, and then I guess like an introduction to PyTorch. Uh, so one thing that is kind of dumb in this course is that they don't assume previous knowledge and I wish they would have done this. They didn't do it on the AI for medicine specialization either, which is like, instead of, I mean, instead of like assuming that nobody knows anything, um, which you have to do, you know, um, because you wouldn't understand these things if you didn't know about deep learning. So what you would do is you would take the deep learning specialization and then you would take this one. You wouldn't take start with this one. But still, they do these things like they, un they explain batch normalization, which I have no idea why they do that. And then like pooling and upsampling and transpose convolutions. All of these things are like should be in a separate course, I feel like. But they do it anyways, which is, I mean, at least somewhat good. And then, uh, yeah, you get to, you know, there's like some reading material for like DC GAN. Uh, let's see. So, yeah, then they go into like, different types of GAN, uh, VGANs, that's like to improve the stability of GANs using a different loss function. Um, but where's the actual the lab? So there's uh, programming assignment. Yeah, yeah, okay, so actually, okay, okay. So the first week, I remember now, you actually build your first GAN. So I think that's really interesting. Uh, and I think this was pretty good as well, like the programming assignment. Maybe we can go into that a little bit more in depth as well. Um, 
But yeah, so you'll learn about like how to improve GANs. It's basically like, okay, you build your first GAN, how do we improve it? Okay, we can use like convolutional neural networks like DC GAN. Okay, and then we can improve the loss function. We can use VGAN. Uh, so there's like a gradual progression with GANs. And then you learn about in the fourth week, conditional GANs, like how do you control, if you want to generate an image of like a three, how do you tell the GAN uh, to like, to, to know what to generate instead of just being random. And so you learn about conditional GANs uh, in this one. All right, so after like the first course, you have like a decent understanding of, of like a progression of GANs. You know the basics of how they work. Um, yeah, and then let's see what they go into here in the building better GANs. Uh, yeah, okay, so you then, right, this is when you start to learn about like how do you evaluate GANs, which is really, really difficult, but there's things that you can use as a sort of a proxy, which are not that good, but th it's the best that we have. So yeah, you get to you get to like learn about those metrics, how they work, and then also like how to implement them. Um, and so that's interesting. I think in general, I think this course is like, it gives you a, a solid foundation that you can build on by yourself. Um, you get to implement them to a point where you feel like, okay, I understand the, the, this, but I don't, um, I don't know if I could implement it completely from scratch by myself, which is not always necessary, right? Sometimes you just want to have an intuition and an understanding and that what is what this course is great for. And then if you want to go the extra step of like implementing them yourself and truly understanding them, you can. Um, and that's exactly what I did, uh, which I've made videos on. You know, I've I've made. Um, let's see. Uh, here, so here, like I have, I made like my own explanation of like an introduction to GANs. And then I wanted to take like a sort of a different approach where I wanted to show how to implement these things. So in a way, the, like the GAN specialization is a really good complement to like the videos I've made because here we implement all these things from scratch. So we build our first simple GAN from scratch, DC GAN from scratch, V GAN, conditional GAN. I mean, you can notice like the structure is exactly the same as the course because that's where I learned it from. And then I wanted to take an extra step of learning it you know, thoroughly. And then as well, picks to picks, cycle GAN, and then pro GAN, and then SR GAN, and then ESR GAN. And I've also done style GAN, but I haven't made a video on it. All right, so do I remember what this was about? It was a while since I did this course actually, but I think it's like, I think this is like, a, um, yeah, I think this was more general, like how machine learning can be used in ways that are not that good and how they can, you know, be racially discriminatory or things like that, fairness in machine. This is not a topic that I'm well versed in, but it's important, so it's interesting. And then, um, yeah, and then, yeah, okay, so then you get to, like, learn how to improve it by using pro uh, progressive growing, which is, you know, why I made a video on that as well, um, which is, like, a new method of GANs that really improve the quality uh, and the methods of what they use, like adaptive instance normalization, specific type of it, um, and then style GAN, which build, was built on top of pro GAN that, improve the like the performance even more uh, and yeah and then the last final course was let's see um, GANs for data augmentation and privacy the first week here was kind of not like not that important but this one with picks to picks uh, this one is important and you um, yeah get to learn about picks to picks and unit which picks to picks was inspired by unit and then we have cycle GAN, which, um, which is also really interesting. And I've made an implementation video of this as well, which was inspired by this. All right, so uh, hopefully this give you a, 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 an understanding. Maybe I can show you just like how one programming assignment looks like so you have an understanding of that as well. All right, so here's like uh, the first assignment actually, but it gives a good um, view of how they are structured and how they look like, which is uh, that basically you're given a lot of code, they explain things a little bit in text, and then 
they give you functions which are pre-written and then they're asked uh, they ask you to implement it like for example here um yeah okay so this is okay so here yeah so this is this is what i mean like here they have n and linear and what they had was none comma none and then none so what you're supposed to like do is to fill in the dimensions of the respect i mean this is the first function right but this is what you can expect like they do a lot a lot of work for you um not to say that some aren't challenging but in general the assignments are pretty easy um which is i don't know good and bad like you'll you learn something, but if you really want to learn it, you need to do stuff, maybe do a project on it, maybe implement it yourself, uh, maybe re read the paper and go through it in more detail. I mean, you have to do some own work. Just don't rely solely on these to feel like, oh, now I get everything because they are like doing a lot of things for you. Um, so yeah, that's in general how they look like and then uh, I guess this is like filled in, so I don't know. I don't know exactly what I did, uh, um, but it's like here they give you this, and then there's like maybe you like write this one sentence, and that's how it is in general. Like maybe you write this one, um, or like or these two, yeah. So it's in general like there's a lot of um, code that's pre-written, and uh, I've re I read a lot of like comments on like that this is a really annoying uh, and that some people want to do more by themselves and this is like a and obviously this is a a compromise you know you have to make something that's good for in general for a lot of people and then you're not going to satisfy everybody um, maybe it's possible that they could have had like like a beginner one and then after you've done the beginning one you could have like more advanced one that could be optional but could give you more depth i don't know how they would solve that exactly but at least now you have an understanding of how it looks like you have an understanding somewhat i mean you don't know what they are maybe you've heard of them a little bit um but you have a an overview at least of the course uh you have what i think of the course um and yeah if you're interested in gans i think you could you could you should take it it's not a lot of money right and then you can do it pretty fast and um you'll have a decent understanding of it and that you can build on that in the future is there anything else to say um i don't think so uh, maybe you can leave questions if you have them i'll try my best to respond um especially when this up video is uploaded maybe like the first week or so if it's then then I'll be really good at responding and then maybe I will afterwards. Um, yeah. So, uh, and I will try to get like a referral link so that if you use it, then you'll support the channel. Um, so it'll be in the description of this video or like in a comment. So if you're thinking of taking it, then do take it through my, or please do take it through my <laughs> description so you can help the channel and I'll make more of these types of videos as well. All right. Thanks a lot. And um, yeah, see you in the next video.